Hi, this is uh, Franz Cantor, cartoonist illustrator and toon talker, and I'm here with Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. And what are we talking about today? We're doing an animated book about yeah, this guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Remember him? Yeah, James Woods yes. as Hades. Hades, terrific in character. In the 1990s, deserves uh, his own film. Animated feature film. Deserves his own franchise. Yeah. Hercules. Hercules. So or not the, the TV would, series, but the, the animated movie. As the Greeks would say, Heracles. Heracles, yeah. And we have to be careful with this book because it's damaged. Yeah. So here are the end papers. In the yeah. beginning there was... Yeah. Chaos. Chaos. So this was a making of book. Making the of Chaos the of Hercules. Of chaos creation. of creation. And it's by Hyperion. Yep. And the text is by Stephen Rebello and Jane Healy. Beautiful drawing. And that's sort of... That, that's, Mount Olympus. Yeah, but it's also a bit... Rending the skies open. Yeah, and it's sort of got a bit of Fantasia in it, Fantasia, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, not on Bear Mountain. And there yeah. he is, Hercules. So... Based on um, the Greek uh, art. Yep. Yeah. That's you know, uh, famous... Kind of... There's a painting of a famous sculpture of... Um, this is background Poseidon. material. And the forward, and here we have his, Baby his father. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the design of these characters. Are extremely, well, they're, they're a they're, homage to Greek vase art. Yes, but this film was different because um, Disney actually, it was the second time that Disney got an outside artist in yeah. um, to, to actually design, design their, their, their whole film. The first one was D Salvador Dali. Yeah which was never finished. Yeah. And they got Gerald Scarf, the British caricaturist, in to do this one. Um, so to give it a different look. Yeah, totally like they different had look. With uh, Atlantis, they got uh, Mike Mignola. Yes. Did they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, well, um, and... Um, so beautifully so, uh, elegant designs. Yeah, well, this characters. is the finished product, but this is these are some of the drawings that were sort of led up to it. So this is hand-drawn animation, it's not 3D. Yeah. So, um, you know, as you can probably appreciate, it's a little bit different process. I don't know whether, I wouldn't necessarily say it's harder. I would say it's, uh, it's a totally different process of production. But the essence of cartoon animation, squash and stretch, and yeah. the storytelling method is exactly the same, whether it's Early, 2D or 3D. The, the, the design, the, the Greek design. Yeah. They even have Grecian Express. Okay, and, so what are we looking at here? These are, these are um, color, they're like color mood boards. Yeah. Not storyboards, because storyboards yeah. actually tell you each frame's yeah. action yeah. in the scene. They're mood, yeah. Yeah, these are like color. Well, the reason why you do color is because, uh, especially for the titles here, you're going to explain the story exposition-wise yeah. with a song. Yes, so, from zero to hero. Right, so you're using a lot of elements of um, music videos like colour yeah. and, uh, you know, um, extravagant dances yeah. and, and cuts and pans and visual gags and things. So you need as much information in the storyboards as possible. Um, well, actually, in, in well, these are mood boards conjunction with the, the music, storyboards, yeah. these are mood boards. Yeah. So it'll give you the, the musical, the visual pace of the song. The title song. Yeah, so these these obviously are from the film. Yeah. And these are the different artists who, who did yeah. drawings. So here's an example. These are storyboards. Yeah. So the storyboards are much simpler sometimes, not always, but um, they're used to, you know, um, explain the action in a scene, the, the, uh, the uh, you know, the dialogue in term, the visual depiction of the of the dialogue to be a Key true hero kid is it's... dying art like painting a masterpiece it's a work of heart obviously a song yeah. they're building up a song and the girls they do this um they're the fates yeah and they sing like, like a gospel choir yeah it's um it's a nice yeah. nice piece yeah um the drawings are great the drawings are great this powerful sketches yeah um, she's a bit of a a bit of a tart well, which is a bit unusual it, for a disney film yeah she's not a disney princess no um no what's her name magera yeah she's she's, she's a, world uh, weary she's world weary 
She's well a very worried. interesting character. My uh, daughter, when I took my daughter to see this film, uh, that character really resonated with her because she was anything but a Disney princess. Yes. She was gutsy. And, yes, that's right. And more human than yeah. a Disney princess. And been around the block. Yeah, Disney princesses are, are tend to be two-dimensional. So these are the early drawings that Scarf did. Yeah. And you can see... Rhythm. Very different to yeah. the finished product. Uh, yeah, but again, there's elements here that yeah. are coming through, like these swirled uh, kneecaps yeah. and yep. things which you'll see in the designs. Yep. Um, when you do a cartoon, you explore different different things, different styles, yeah. whether it be, uh, you know, very, very graphic. Until very you get it right. It, 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 you're creating a whole universe, you're and there's creating, so many... There's the many, many, are they called... Um, what are they called? The many notes, or <laughs> many musical notes in a cartoon. Yes. So you're looking at different um, elements. So mood is created by colors and shape and. These characters are gods. His yeah. parents are gods, so they have that extra shine about them. Yeah. And um, he goes down to earth, and you can't put because they because they're Greek gods. You can't put a halo. No. You know, make him shine and glitter. Like, no, but even like, even look at the nipple. Look at the like vampires. They've got to shine yeah, and glitter. But, but even look at his nipple. Glitter. It's got that that design. Yeah, the scarf. Uh, yeah. Although they swirling. pinched a bit of this from Fantasia, yeah. sixty years before that. Yeah. And of course they have these bad guys who are, are always characters that yeah. Disney likes to use. Yeah. Like Panic. like like the uh, gargoyles in in the Hunchback. Yes. And they're funny. Yeah, sidekicks. Yeah. Yeah. And here they, they're, they're these, the these three, um, blind witches who are pinched out of Macbeth, practically. Yeah, well... And they, they share the same eye. Yeah. It's really, <laughs> it's really gruesome and funny. I think they're funny. the fates. Yeah. Ah, uh, are they? Oh, uh, well, you might be right. I thought the girls were the fates, you know, the singers. Ah. Anyway, so this is the Danny DeVito character. Yeah. Beautifully drawn. Mm. I reckon he's the best character in the whole show. Yeah, for he's drawing. very, very fluid. Yeah. Lovely drawing. Look at this. It's superb stuff. And a lot of this, you're looking at this in black and white, of course, but in reality, this would have been drawn in blue pencil. Ah. Or red pencil, but mainly blue pencil. Over here, you can see cleanup done or an exposition of it. So they rough it out in blue pencil. Yep. He likes what he sees, so then he does the uh, clean up with uh, black pencil. And here we get into more of the script, the visual script. Again, yeah, more mood boards, because yeah. they're trying to get that sort of biblical, sort of uh, grandeur yes. of, the, of, the, of the idea of the underworld, etc. There's a great, mm. great drawing that mm. sort of with with this is Mount Olympus, I suppose, mm. up there, and and all this all this sort of heroic drawing. Yeah, Even so the landscape is heroic, and it, it ends up this way. Although I prefer this than this, I just yeah, think this it's, is um, this is too um, too Bruce, Disney fied. Bruce, Six, Bruce Sixworth, who did, who did some a great job on Pocahontas. Remember Colors of the Wind? Yeah. So uh, look at how he's um, explained. And they use this motive right throughout right this, this, the, the this circular yeah. thing. This is very Maxfield Parish. Really, yeah, oh yeah, it's very Maxfield Parish with the contrast turned more up. Yes, very, very lolly colours, mm. very lolly colours. So artists love to play and um, in a cartoon show like this you get a chance to play with many, many, many styles of art and cartoon and, and um, you know, uh, is, is that, that's almost, this is almost UPI, UPA. Yeah. The simplicity of the design. Different people doing the, the designs before they get them right. Before they so this is hot, an early version of Hades. Yeah. Who's um, it looks more like out of a Zagreb movie than a Disney movie. Yeah, but you need to push things visually. Yeah. It excites the artists to produce yes. better work. Otherwise, you get a homogeneity yeah. of the designs. Yeah. yeah. And it becomes like cookie cut. That's one of right. The, um, one of the one of the sad parts of modern cartoons, Disney is also guilty of this too, but uh, in terms of um, homogeneity of designs and, and uh, un being uninventive, Sony, DreamWorks and Disney have 
and even Pixar to some extent have been guilty of being um, cookie cutting a lot of the uh, content. So these are when Gerald Scarf comes into the film. Yeah. And everything changes dramatically. These, yeah. these, these are his, um, his style. Yeah. If, well, if you remember yeah. the centaur yeah. with this bulgy head, yeah. right? This is very, um, very Scarf. You'll see it in a minute when you go to the... And these are his design. designs for different characters. Yeah. That's his father, which is very different. Also very Orson Wellish. Well, yeah. You, there, are, there are no... In, in drawing and designing a cartoon, there are no... Um, there are no barriers, there are no um, edges. You just have to establish directions and you either pull or push the character towards or away from those those um, directions. So yeah. Some of these are kept, some elements are kept, yeah, some Pegasus. elements are discarded. But it's unusual why they decided to, to, to go with the one person. Yeah, um, well and they, they, they've used him as a, as a springboard yes. to come up with an idea and yes. then they just either use that, yes. push it more, or go in a different direction. So that's almost beautiful. Eh? This is the Hydra. And, the, and this is the... Uh, Cerberus. Cerebus, yeah. Three-headed Very god scary. of Hades. Very scary, yeah. And it's beautiful work, the clean work. Look at the, 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 um, the muses. Yeah. The clean, beautiful line of the muses. And you'll see that there's no, there's no cookie cutting here. There's no... Um, Every face is different. Every yeah. face is different proportions and uh, different uh, uh, design. Much, um, much, much scarier than Harry Potter. The Cerebus. And there is this ja <laughs> ja <laughs> James Wood. James Wood. Yeah. And there's, look, the horse crossing yeah. its So look at, looking at this, I'm looking at the fluidness of his line. Yeah. And they would be very into that and say, okay, there's a very Hirschfeld effect. Yeah. How can we get that in our yes. drawings? We'll keep Hirschfeld-like lines. Also, like. also, Scarf had, had some experience with there's animation. A scarf, there's a Scarf design. Yes. That's very close they to They haven't his changed original. it much at all, yeah. Yeah, very inventive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, comparing that to the almost um, iconic-looking characters. Look at this. This is... This is new. This is what's been done before. So, you know, same old, same old. Oh, well, this is, again, referencing Hirschfeld. But, you know, not nearly as far pushed as this. Yeah. This was a beautiful exercise in, um, in artistic um, uh, uh, um, guts. Yeah, That's and also, um, uh, like, he, you know, Hades and those characters to do with death. He's, yeah. he's he's in charge of the underworld where everybody dies. It's hell, you know. Yeah. And of course, his Hydra is just perfect foil. Yeah. Bad guy, perfect foil for the bad guy's voice. Yeah. James Woods. Yeah. He, he was a magnificent uh, Hades. Yes, it's it's one of the best characters in yeah. in any Disney film. Yeah. Is that Princess Leia? <laughs> yeah. And, well, and so his oh, designs. I, I think um, the his, his designs. The bad lady, the bad lady from Little Mermaid, was very good. Okay. But, yes. Um, or even Jafar from um, yep. from Aladdin. See, these these were changed because they were just too too scarfish. Yeah. But they, they, they were used they in the film. Be... They used in the film. Yeah. So when you do, why is it too scarfish? I'll tell you why. Because um, it's very difficult because this is extremely. Um, um, pertaining to Scarf, it's very difficult to imagine this moving and imagining it in three dimensionality. Yeah, and how are you going to it's animate to a, draw. a lava titan? How, yeah. how, it's well, just like, like, like not like that. Yeah. But uh, you have to imagine it draw um, in three dimensionality so that you can draw the character from any angle. Yeah, yeah. Very important. So that's how Scarf drew um, Hercules and, and, and Pegasus, Pegasus, and that's how. It ended up. Well, that's Hercules as the teenager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And of Expression course, you've got all these drawings. kooky birds getting blown yeah. away by the horse. Yeah. And then the nightmarish stuff that Scarf's noted for. Yeah. Comes in handy, and these are these. Look at look look at the it's like like the screen. Yeah. Like the the, the, the monk, famous monk, monk, monk screen, screen turned into mm. a, a horror movie. Into the Hydra. There's a little yeah. little early drawing of, of the Hydra. Yeah. In the Hydra's realm. And that's hell. 
There's another picture of Hades. Yeah, with without his a wig on. There he is here. This ah, oh, the the um, character of Panic has um, mm. looks like it's stayed very similar to Scarf's uh, original design. A little shoe there. Oh, there's there's some more. This is Scarf, Gerald Scarf. Yeah. Okay, so hey, um, uh, Pain well, and Panic. Panic. Yeah. Panic and Pain, whichever one is them. I think that uh, uh, <laughs> I can't remember, but um, they've well, that's stayed panic. almost that's the pain same. And that's panic. But they've stayed almost. Well, that's yeah. another animator's yeah, take yeah, yeah. No, on, yes. on, on the character. Yeah. Yeah. But see that these characters, the final designs, are yeah. very similar, yeah. very very similar to Scarf's. And these are all as the, is the um, these are all the dead the souls floating in the lava. Yeah. So be good girls and boys, and yeah. it won't yeah. it won't happen to you. Yeah. Beautifully, oh, it's, you know, the use of, um, the, the inventiveness of the, the, the research, these beautiful uh, cloudscapes, you know, symbolizing um, both the, the, the Greek mythology, uh, homage to Greek mytholo mythological art from, mm. Mm. from ancient Greece and also to Scarf and to you it, know, it also, Hirschfeld and to um, uh, uh, many extent I think the... It, it um, also sends up... Um, it also Ma sends Maxfield up... Maxfield Parish. Yeah, but it also sends up merchandising in the film too, all this stuff. Yeah. You know, he even gets his picture on... An action on, figure. On American Express and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. That could be Superman, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> No, Lois, no! Kirby hands. Yeah. Kirby hands with, with, with scarf curled yeah. arms. Look at that. Look, look at, yeah. You know, this is... I draw, okay. So, I look at I this draw, and I... I draw, therefore I am. <laughs> I, I look at this and I think, well, you know, I, I draw it with my imagination, with my eye. So I'm looking at this and drawing it as I go with my eye. And I'm telling you, this is a lot of fun to draw. Look at the the, the beautiful mm. organic swirls and mm. and shapes. Even the muscle goes back like that. Magnificent, a lot of fun. And this is the lineup. You always look for rhythm in um, in drawing, it especially in animation. Design. Especially in animation. These are very rough, and look how beautiful they are. So Hercules was taller. No, he wasn't as tall as the beast. Yeah, I don't. I. I don't like things like that. I think this is nonsense. Um, none of these characters uh, hold, hold a candle to uh, Hercules' designs. I wouldn't even bother putting them in. I'm shocked, shocked. Criticism of Disney, shocked. Well, Dis Disney is not immune to, uh, to the uh, worship of the, of the dollar. Uh, Megera, I love Megera more than any other Disney character because she's got more depth. My daughter fell in love with this character more than any Disney princess. Chutzpah, what's she, the, that's chutzpah. the word? Chutzpah, yeah, chutzpah. She's, um, she's, she's a baddie, that's a goodie, yeah. became a baddie, was a baddie, was a, became a goodie, yeah. then, then a baddie, then a goodie. So she's very complex. And she and sends up, up her own um, feminine she's, allure. She sends it yeah. up. Yeah. She's using it and she sends it up at the same time. Yeah, but then... And like the this end, bit where she punches him on the shoulder, she's having a go at him. Yeah, but in the end of the story, he sacrifices his immortality to save her. Yeah. And the reason why he... And when he does that, she realises her... Um, val yes. Her, her, her true value yes. of Yes, yes. And she becomes a goodie. So there's a very strong... It's a You know, look, I studied Greek myths growing up. And it's full of morals. It's like Aesop's fables. Well, Aesop's fables. They, they were designed full that way. Full of beautiful morals and, and they were designed that and way. stories of human strength and character. Never let your, your kid hang around snakes or bad that, things will happen. That's painted into Hercules. You know, those the, the values of Greek mythology are painted into Hercules. That's why Hercules is such a beautiful cartoon. Well, those those myths are still around. Mm -hmm. That that was a beautiful uh, sequence in the film too. Yeah. I just love the linear, the, the, the anatomically correct but beautiful, you know, the, the curves. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's a good centaur, you know. I looked at that originally and I thought, well, that's not very um, aesthetic for a centaur. <laughs> but then, you know, seeing it work, uh, well, animate. Well, he's, he's Brutus. Is, is, he's is, Brutus in, in Popeye. Exactly, you know? yeah. 
but seeing it work uh, uh, so well in animation. I mean, look at all these look at these extraneous um, yeah. curves and things in in the figure. It just works like magic on screen. Yeah. Oh, there's. Can I just say that very very quickly? Look, there's the. I think close to finished design, their scarf's design. Yeah. You can see how closely they, they adored it. Yeah. They loved it. Yeah, they, they stuck to it. Yeah. And this is this is his this scarf's design too. <coughs> so Hades again. They know, didn't get that far from character. it. They didn't get that far from it. No. They didn't. They, they kept well they changed, they gave more um, human eyes, I think. Yeah. And human mouth but but to actually have you know they kept the nose. They yeah. kept the nose. But but to keep the ke to, ha to have red hair which is flaming is just a just a fantastic yeah. idea. Mm. Yeah. Well, look at the profile here. We do a very quick flip. The profile of that. Keep your eye on the profile of that. Now yeah. watch on the other page. Pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Pretty close. There's blue pencil with uh, clean up lines. Yeah, they, sh they, they share an eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're the. What are uh, they called? Are they called the fates? The fates. They yeah. are the fates. They are yeah. The fates. Yeah. And they're creepy. The, the humor. The, they're genuinely creepy and funny at the same time. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Mm. That's a beautiful drawing of horses. Yeah. Just very quickly sketched. So, scarfs. Um, mm. They've kept scarfs expressions. Of uh, Pegasus, a lot of those beautiful. Um, well, there's a little bit of the, a little bit of the horse from um, um, Sleeping Beauty comes every so often into the film. Mm. This is the thirty-headed monster, mm. and they certainly do it. Mm. This is quite dramatic in the film. I remember. This is a maquette. When they're drawing something that's complex, usually, or they need to, exp they need to hurry up the drawing process, or in help the drawing process so that you can imagine the character from any angle. They'll often do, I'll call in a sculptor and they'll do a maquette. It's called a maquette because the, the, the actual stuff it's made of or it's just a French word for... It's a tiny, tiny mac. Ah, okay. okay. A tiny mac. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and I wish they wouldn't there's, put stuff there's, that's... There's Danny DeVito and... Yeah. Okay, well, they do a cartoon caricature of Danny DeVito. Yeah. And they're, you know, it does help, I guess, um, explain some of the you know, different. Keep the personality of Danny DeVito in there. Yeah, a bit different. I wish they wouldn't put other crappy Disney stuff in, like Mickey Mouse. So there's. This is beautiful. Look, the way. This is how they design in three dimensionality, how yeah. they design the face of uh, Zeus, of how they imagine it working. Um, you know, you base it on very simple structured uh, geometrical shapes mm. and that way you're able to keep proportions and uh, then you can ex exaggerate proportions when you get to these double takes and these um, beautiful expressions. Yeah. Complex character, uh, Zeus. There's, there's Megera, look at that, that's a beautiful look, totally un- Disney princess like, yeah. totally young Disney princess like, yeah. but you know, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, standalone. <laughs> the Neo Greco Disney Scarfian style. <laughs> yeah. The other thing about the film is that there's so many caricatures in the film. Probably has more caricatures than any other animated film ever made because they all got inspired. And so um, th there are people in the background yeah. in shots which oh. which are, you know, yeah. does this yeah. stuff get you? Does it? It's just so beautifully um, conceived. This is uh, like, uh, you know, so when you see some of the backgrounds from Fantasia. Well, it's animation land. Really it's animation land. See yeah, all these, all these, so all these, these motives, these curl, these, these yeah, motives they're, right they're throughout the whole film. Yeah, uh, designs. Yeah, through motifs. the whole film. Yeah. <coughs> and so this every, is, all of the worlds have all of these different shapes. This, this, is, the, the this is the sharp world of the, the, the bad stuff. This is sharp. The bad environments. Yeah. There's delete. another environment again. You know, beautiful stuff. And you think of these, I mean, they're obviously digital, but, um, you know, they're, sure. you know. All these motives throughout the whole film. Yeah, but as a colour um, palette, you know, mm. I mean, this is, this, is, this is sheer magic. Mm. This is beautifully done, beautifully done. Yeah. 
So you can appreciate a lot of the, uh, look how much they've exaggerated the characters to get those um, mm. takes, those double takes and things. Yeah, it's beautiful stuff. Expressive, expressive lead drawing. So the, the range of expressions leads you to exaggerate the drawing. That gives it the canyon, the, the, the story. Yeah, very inventive characters. More, more beautiful backgrounds. Meg's garden. Yeah, it's difficult to, you know, when you're doing 3D, it's, you don't have the same amount of, of um, control as you do if you're painting these backgrounds. Lolly Land. Maxwell Parish we're again. In, the, we're the, in Lolly Land. The yeah. low light sunset yeah. hitting the objects. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are in um, Hades, I think. No, well, the, Where are we here? the, the Fates. The Fates. Oh, Underworld yeah. is yeah. a cold, monochromatic, yeah. grey blue yeah. filled with sharp, menacing Scarfian edges and lines. Mm. And so there's his drawing there. It's reasonably kept to it, haven't they? So there's a, there's a, yeah. the muses. Beautiful. Broad humour, caricature, epic her heroism, grand scale subjects and pop culture. That's basically what the film is about. Yep. Look at that, it's almost, um, what's her name? Bette Midler. Mm. She's probably sending her up. Mm. And look, you know. Do you want to buy a clock? <laughs> and here it is, Grecian Express. The... Yeah, I didn't particularly like this part of the uh, film. But, um, you know. <clears throat> this, uh, this scene with the Hydra was very um, interesting. Here he is, um, he head of G, so all the, all the artists working on part um, of the Hydra. Mm. Yes, it, if you see the Some film and boards. slow it down, um, it's all these characters through the whole film. The whole film, they're all characters. Of people who've worked in the audience, uh, in, in the in studio the and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Technically, really hard to do. How do you have a rock guy walking? How do you have There's a... There's a note of somebody, an animator's put this in, or the yeah, director's put like this in. Like a man in a garbage Try bag. Try to imagine it like a man in a garbage bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And of course, there's this human vortex. Yeah. That's wind. Yeah. They're great technical so things to solve, released, aren't uh, they? They're great. These technical. were titans that were yeah. released. Um, They're great Hades. technical problems to solve. Yeah. 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 And it is about hero heroism. Yes. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, folks. Yeah. And of course he smokes a cigar. Look at his eyes. Yeah. And the curl in his eyes. Well, any chance they can to refer to Scarf. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. When they hire an artist of Scarf standing to come in and help them design something unique, they go all out. The Herc Index yeah. Ooh, by the neck. So, very exciting work, very exciting book. And uh, close her up again. Let's have a look on the um, oh, there's Hades again, the underworld. Very scarfy. And there's the cover. Beautiful stuff. Um, you know, if you love the film, you'd better check this out. I think you'd probably find this on uh, eBay or it could or you might be available on your, Amazon. Your favourite second hand Beautiful coffee shop. table book. Okay, this is Jim Bridges, Franz Cantor, saying see you next time. Arrivederci. Bye-bye.